This is Newsline 9 Sports. It's another day where the Brew Crew sits in second place in the NLC. A pretty even matchup between Milwaukee and Chicago, each with a win this series. But the Brewers will try to take it all today in the finale. It's a scoreless game until the top of the sixth. Wilson Contreras, he hits a never. That'll bounce down the third baseline. Zach Davies making the throw to first, but it's too late. John Jay will give the Cubs the 1-0 lead. The next batter, Addison Russell, a base hit to center. This will go deep enough for Chris Bryant to score. The Cubs lead. 2-0, and this lights a fire under Milwaukee. They'll make their comeback in the bottom of the sixth. Domingo Santana blasts one out to right field. Hayward with a chance to rob the dinger, but just misses the catch. A two-run homer ties up the game, and the Cubs will do it again in the seventh. Victor Caratini drills one out deep to center. It's a goner, and he scores his first homer in the MLB. He gives Chicago the lead once again, and one more digger in the eighth will do it for the Cubs. They take the series with a 4-2 win. And now the Brew Crew trails by just two and a half games in the NLC. Maury Hirsch Gordon has more from Miller Park. That's, that's the encouraging sign for me is that we continue to pitch well. Another strong outing from the Brewers pitching staff Sunday wasn't supported by offense as the once free swinging electrifying ball club scored just five runs this series against the Cubs. And a call strike three. Lackey fooled him with a fastball. It's a little rough patch. We'll get on it. I'm kind of like I'm confident we'll score runs. So I didn't realize it was that long. A week long without a hit with running from scoring position, that's not really acceptable. Since Tuesday, the Brewers are 0 for 31 with runners in scoring position, which is a new franchise record. Just three wins since the All-Star break, Shaw doesn't believe it's quite time to start pressing. Mm, I don't think so, not yet. I mean, I mean it just happens that Cubs have been playing good, we've been playing bad, and that, that combination at the same time, that's what swings the standings. Good news for the Brewers is that they will get the day off tomorrow before the Cardinals come to town on Tuesday. Separate yourself from them, and you make it a two-team race down the stretch. I think with any team, especially us, um, you know, we feed off each other, we play as a team, and uh, you know, when one guy gets a big hit, you know, the whole guy gets fired up, and uh, you know, I think we focus a little bit better. There's a big chunk of the schedule left, and there's a really big chunk. So there's a, to me, this is we've got a tremendous opportunity still, and I think we recognize that. I know we recognize that. And that was Morian in the NASCAR. The Overton's 400 at Pocono belonged to Kyle Busch. His first career win at Pocono, snapping his 36 race winless streak. Kevin Harvick and Martin Truex Jr. wrapped up the top three. On lap 145, Busch gives Harvick a little nudge, and he ends up taking the lead in the Monster Energy Cup Series. Cambridge native Matt Kenseth finished ninth today for the third time this season. Busch now has only failed to win at Charlotte among current Cup Series tracks. Pool isn't exactly a popular sport for teenagers, but Jada Resch developed a love for it at a very young age. And now she's traveling all the way to Vegas this week to compete in the sport. I caught up with her at Raz's a few days ago where she showed off these pool skills. Practice a lot, a lot. The 15-year-old took home the gold at the 2017 Wisconsin Junior State 8-Ball Championship. Cue her ticket to Vegas to compete in the BEF Junior National. It was crazy. Everybody was so happy around me and just like the rush of energy was great. All the planning that went into it was finally paid off. The self-taught pool player has been shooting alongside her dad and grandpa since before she could even catch a glimpse over the table. Um, I'm just so proud of her. Pool was her therapy, her way to escape reality. My parents were divorced, like I said, so everything was kind of crazy when I was younger. A lot was down there. Everything else didn't matter. With an August 2nd tournament start date on the horizon, Rush has been more composed than one would think. Probably should be practicing more, but I'm trying to shoot as much as possible. I haven't really changed anything up. Rush will be shooting with a very meaningful cue stick in Vegas, one that has been in the family for over 40 years. I, I'm, I'm so proud that she's shooting with it. it it's weird because, it, you know, it should just be a piece of wood. It's just a, just a cue stick, you know? But it's, it's more than that. I mean, it's, I, I literally grew up with it, you know? Russia's biggest pool influences will all be in attendance, which she hopes will not be a distraction because her goal is to stay stress-free. I'm not really looking to win it. I'm just going for the experience. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And, and if not, well, then at least you got to go out there and shoot at a really young age. 
She says she doesn't really know about her future in the sport, but her dad says his one rule is that she just always continues to play with him. With her. I, I think it's nice because oh, that was where she got her start. That is so cute and so so cool of her. Good luck to her with that. I know. Thanks so much, Alexis. We'll be